in a world where anyone can have a podcast. Peter Von Panda is one of them. Rants are taken to a whole new level. This is the Peter Von Panda Podcast. A giant waste of time. Yo, what's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, just fiddling with my microphone. Chrysler unveiled the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica, and I wanted to talk to you about it today because I'm actually pretty excited about it because of its design. And it reminds me of one of my favorite Chrysler minivans, the Town & Country slash Dodge Caravan at the time. But it's just funny because when the Pacifica came out, a few years ago i actually thought the design was pretty nice it had that chrysler 200 front end it actually worked pretty well on a minivan you know sometimes corporate design language doesn't translate all that well um it actually looked very much like some of the other mercedes you know um the gle and things like that they kind of have a, a similar corporate face anyway um so i thought it was a fair looking car now what they have done is they have slightly facelifted it here and i think made it I don't know if you'd call it more sporty, but they have made it a little bit more um, modern, you know, a little blockier, maybe a little more muscular, um, kind of giving it more definition. They haven't really changed the proportions much, but what they've done is they've put a little bit more angle in the grill. It's kind of a little bit like 2010 Audis versus 2019 Audis. You know, they they have that same big front grill, but they have kind of sharpened the edges, kind of made instead of rounded edges, made them kind of more sharp trapezoidal. And I think it looks good. They've kind of separated the headlights from the grill more, so the headlights flank out a little further. So there's body color uh, filler in between the headlights and the grills now. Um, and it's kind of getting away from the the swoopy more organic shape more wind like shape of the chrysler 200 which i did like you know it actually maybe looks a little bit more chrysler 300 ish they've kind of uh drifted the pacifica away from the chrysler 200 to the chrysler 300 look and i think it looks good uh led lights kind of in uh, surround the headlight housing it looks good but it's funny to me because my parents actually had a 2000 dodge caravan uh it yeah i think it was a caravan might have been a town and country. Uh, might have been a 2000 town and country. Either way, they're essentially the same car. But what's funny to me is that it looks a lot like the 2000 Dodge Caravan to me. You know, they have the separated headlights. I, I actually think it's a design that works well on minivans because there's only so much you can do with them. Now, ideally, if you could have all of the minivan size shape volume and not make it look like a minivan make it look like a crossover you'd be in a in a good place you know the dodge journey tried to do that um you know i'd say even the jeep cherokee tries to do it the the chevy traverse was very much in that realm and it's it's really hard just because of the volume and the displacement and the, and the overall shape of things to really kind of pull that off so i don't mind you know when a company like chrysler just embraces the minivan shape and makes it a minivan it's it's, it's great I, I like it but it's so reminiscent to me of the 2001 and that one was really where i thought they hit it on the the nail on the head with that design it just had a somewhat sporty look it didn't look old folkish it didn't look too boxy it had kind of a sleek front end but wasn't overly dramatic and didn't try to make it look like a, a sports car or something like that and it just had a kind of a nice uh shape and what they did was by making the headlights a little squinty a little thinner wider they kind of created like this this visual like wings coming off the grill and so it made a very tall vehicle feel a little flatter and a little wider and a little more planted and that's what they've done in the 2021 i just find it funny that separated by 20 or 21 years here uh the car the designs are so similar if i said the 2000 dodge caravan was the direct predecessor to the 2021 chrysler pacifica um or i or i said this to myself in a world where i only uh inhabit the entire world which would be amazing uh really hard for dating though 
Um, if I said that the 2021 Pacifica was a successor to the 2000 Dodge Caravan, I wouldn't be surprised. There's just so much uh, similarity here. You know, obviously the overall size is going to be somewhat similar, but it's just that the design elements of the front end look so similar to me. I'm just kind of toggling back and forth. You know, the fog lights obviously in the same area, which would be, not be a surprise. But even the shape of the grille to the shape and size, at least, of the headlamps uh, looks so similar. And that is to say I liked it. You know, I like the 2000 caravans in town and country. I like the 2021. I think it's an improvement. It gives the car a little less of a teardrop shape and just a little more brawn. You know, I, I, I like it. I think Chrysler should have embraced the Chrysler 300 look on more stuff earlier. And they should have a mid-size crossover as well with the look. And I tell you what, if you put this front end on a mid-size crossover, obviously you you can't have as, quite as much rake to the hood. And I think you want to make the grill on the front end a little more upright. Um, I just see it kind of morphing into a mid-sized crossover. I think it'll do well. I, you know, I, I, I am shocked and mortified, basically, that Chrysler does not have an SUV. You know, either something based on the Cherokee or preferably the Grand Cherokee and just skin it in a Chrysler suit, I think would work well. Anyway, I like the new 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Peter Von Panda, out! This is the Peter Von Panda Podcast. A giant waste of time.